How's it going everybody? Uh, God bless you. Uh, God has put in my heart that I should share this word with you. Uh, he has been doing some amazing, beautiful things in my life and he has told me um, that I should share this in English because oftentimes I make a lot of videos in Spanish and um, it's been such a great blessing to me and to the people you know, who have been engaging with us through the Casa de Oración del Espíritu Santo ministry. Uh, but today God specifically told me that I need to make this video in English so I'm going to do the best that I can because um, I grew up reading the Bible in, in Spanish and preaching in Spanish and everything in Spanish so it's kind of hard for me it's a little bit of a challenge for me to share the gospel in English because it's not something very natural to me but I'm going to do it for the glory of God but I'm going to do it because God has allowed me to become bilingual and to be able to learn a new language and if so I am going to praise the Lord in whatever languages he allowed me to learn so you know Anyway, so that's kind of what I wanted to share with you, and I'm very excited. And I know God, God is going to touch some people's hearts tonight. I don't know who you are, and I don't know who is going to be watching this video. And I don't care if it's only two, three, one person. I don't care. All I care about is that I know, and I have the assurance, and I have the trust and belief in God that God is going to touch at least one person tonight. And that is more than enough for me. That is already a, such a great blessing to me. And so I want to read, I want to start off by sharing a psalm that says, uh, Psalm 139, verses 7 to the 8. And it says, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. This psalm is talking about God's omnipresence. The fact that God is everywhere. You know, oftentimes as believers or even non-believers, you know, if you believe in some God, some presence, some higher being, we can all agree that we all believe that He is everywhere. You know, everywhere, all around. But sometimes when we're going through trials and tribulations and hardships and loneliness and brokenness and sleepless nights and, and depression and anxiety and whatever it is that is bothering you tonight, sometimes it's hard to believe that God is there because we feel like we're lonely. We feel like we're hopeless. We feel like nobody listens to us. Nobody sees us because even people might be around us, but we still feel lonely. Well, let me tell you that God is everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter if you hide yourself literally under a rock or if you hide yourself under your bed. It doesn't matter if you feel unseen, but perhaps you are in, the, in between crowds and crowds and crowds of people and you feel insignificant. If you feel like the smallest person out there that doesn't matter, that nobody cares about, that doesn't have a voice, doesn't have power, even you. God is watching you every single movement, every thought, every prayer, and every um, tear that you cry at night. God knows it. God knows the reasons. God knows it. And God wants you to know tonight that He is here for you and with you that you're not alone and I want to tell you that you are not alone just because you're not seeing God immediately in your life just because in your own understanding and belief you think that you're by yourself you think that God has forsaken you forgotten about you or that you don't matter or that you are so sinful that you don't deserve a second third fourth fifth chance well let me tell you that God loves you so so much that he sent his beloved son God himself to die on that cross for your sins, for your salvation, for your happiness. And it was only one time that he did that, but his promise lasts for
forever and even today when you feel hopeless and when you feel like you're nothing God is still saying to you that he paid the price the highest price anybody could ever pay for your life specifically because he cares about you because you are somebody someone somebody who matters to him and so he's speaking to you tonight and I hope that you can really believe and you can trust in what I'm saying not because I am saying it because I am no one I am such an imperfect person I am a sinful person I am nobody but God is somebody and if God is speaking to you tonight he is telling you that today God loves you and he's working in your life even in the silence even if when you don't feel like his presence when you don't think he's there he is there and you just have to cry out to him and you just have to pray and say God I've tried everything and I want you to take control now I want you Lord to work within me I want you Lord to really really help me through it all because sometimes we try to do everything humanly um, possible we want to take care of our own lives and we want to do all these things but nothing works because we need God's intervention because we need God's help God's support and he is here to support you but you have to allow him to work within you and if you're ready to take that challenge I ask you tonight to pray and say hey God Heavenly Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, tonight I am giving you my all. Tonight I want to be delivered from my stress, from my depression, from my sickness, from my hardships, from my tribulations. I just want to give it up to you and I want you to work with me and to work within me because I can no longer do it, but I know that you can. If you make that prayer, believing it i can tell you that tomorrow you will be sharing your testimony with me that god has already delivered you from that situation that you're going through right now i can tell you prayer i i, I don't know i wish i could have hours and hours and hours and if only i could share everything that god has done in my life but I, one thing I can tell you is that prayer changes things. Prayer changes things. And let me tell you one more time. Prayer changes things. God has answered my prayers sometimes and oftentimes immediately. Sometimes the next day, the next week, the next month, the next year, the next two years. But God has answered my prayers in amazing, beautiful ways that are not, um, how can I say, logical even or believable to many people who are agnostics or people who are unbelievers god has answered my prayer you know what sometimes i feel depressed sometimes i feel loneliness sometimes i feel like you know like i don't have peace of mind and then i just pray and i say god please take this away i pray to you lord work within me and in within minutes within minutes this overwhelming peace comes into my mind into my heart so I'm, I want to tell you there is power in prayer and um, I'm making this video because God has told me uh, that I need to share more of his words and what he has done and share my testimony with you uh, for English speakers because I do it often with my Spanish speakers and my networks who speak Spanish but um, I feel like God has a specific word for somebody today and so I hope that you take this word, that you believe it. And please, if you need any prayer, please share with us. Um, I'm more than happy to pray for you and with you. Um, and I hope that you, you really trust in, in, in this word. Because I'm not just, you know, wasting your time or my time. I'm doing this because God is being merciful with me. And because I am so grateful with Him. And that um, I, I just... Uh, it's like when you fall in love with somebody or something happening, um, something amazing happens in your life, you just can't wait to share people, to share with people, right? And so this is why I'm sharing this with you because I just can't hold it. I have to share of the amazing grace and amazing love that has that God has for me and for you. So God bless you and I hope that you can uh, share this video with whoever needs to hear it.